Hello guys, welcome to you. In this video, we are going to see how to create and set up a virtual hard drive or hard disk in a Windows 11 PC or laptop. It is a very easy and simple process. So let's go to our video and create our virtual hard disk or hard drive. Right click on the start. First, right click on the start. And here we find disk management. Click on the disk management and our disk management is open. It shows us a all hard disks on our PC or laptop. I go to this PC and I show you how many drives are on the my PC. Double click on it. And here we find I create many drives from the my hard disks. This is the my hard disk. I have three hard disks and I want to create a virtual hard disk on my PC. Here we find last drive is the I or the drive is I. Close that and here we find my three hard disks. First is the 500 GB, second is the 2 TB and third is the 1 TB and I want to create a one virtual drive. It is all actual hard drives or the virtual. It is not a virtual disk. It is all my hard disks. I want to create a new virtual drive. That is very easy and simple. Go to the action at here. In action, we find create a VHD virtual hard disk or the hard drive. VHD means virtual hard drive or hard disk. Click, click on the create a VHD and here we find location. Here, click on here and go to the anywhere on the your PC and create a folder, one folder. I want to go to the desktop. You can go to the anywhere on your PC and create a one folder. Give any name. I go to the desktop, right click on the desktop, click on the new, click on the folder and I give the disks. You can give any name that you want and click on the my uh, desktop. And here we find our disk folder. Go to the here. Here we find disks. Click on the disks. And here we find virtual disks file VHD. You can go to the VHDX or virtual disks or all file. I go to the VHD, click on save and give any file name that you like. I give the my, my hard disks. You can give any name and click on save. And here we find next option is virtual hard disk size. It is an IMP. Go with the MB. I not want to MB. If you want to GB, 500 GB, 1 TB, then go to the GB. In my case, I go to the TB. TB is the largest size. I go with the 1 TB or 2 TB. I go with the 4 TB. And here, here we find two options VHD. VHD is supported for the 200 GB or the 2 TB. And VHD is supported for the VHDX supported for the larger hard disk. So I select this VHD, VHDX and it is automatically select dynamically expanding. It is an IMP select dynamically expanding and VHDX and I go with the 4 TB. You can go with the 500 TB, 500 GB or any size that you want and click on the OK. Now, as soon as we click on the our OK button, new hard disk is created. Our hard disk number is three and it is actually four number. Hard disk start from the zero and this is our fourth number hard disk. Right click on it and here we find initialize. Initialize disk is the very IMP. Click on the initialize disk. Here we find disk three. It's asked you to the MBR or GPT. GPT is the modern partition style. Go with the GPT always. If you're using Windows 11, Windows 10, go with the GPT partition and click on the OK. Now our new partition is selected. Right click on this blank space or the black space. Right click on it. Click on the new sample volume. Click on new sample volume. Click at here. Next. Here we find sample volume size. Go entire space to this disk. I give the entire space. If you will not want to give entire space, then make sure it is small. I give the entire space and click on the next. Here you find assign drive letter. It is the J. If you want to change, then change it from here. I go with the J and click on the next. Next NF and TFS partition or the file system. Click on the next. Click on finish. It's formatting our hard disk. And go to the this PC. And here we find our new virtual hard disk. It is not an actual hard disk. It is a virtual hard disk on our PC. This is our J virtual hard disk. If you want to use it, then use it. So guys, this is the simplest way to create and set up virtual hard disks or hard drive in a Windows 11 PC or laptop. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you guys.